Graham that there is such a wonderful turnout today. Uh, he's obviously got a very important announcement to make, but just before he does, uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of SACA, uh, congratulations on what has been a terrific career. Um, you know, Graham recently became a 100 game player. Uh, not too many players uh, last that long in the game. He's a test cricketer, he's a one day international cricketer, he's a former captain of the state, uh, and he's one of the more competitive blokes I think that's ever put on a red back cap. So today, uh, for Graham to make the announcement he has, I think uh, it, it's, it's a proud day. Uh, from Saka's perspective, Graham, I just want to say good luck. I know there's going to be plenty in your life. I know it's probably going to be busier than it's ever been over the next little while, uh, the next few years. So good luck transitioning out. And I guess most importantly from our perspective, um, we'd like to keep the doors open and, uh, and stay a friend of Saka. So over to you. Wow. Um, uh, this isn't going to be easy, but thanks very much for coming. Um, uh, clearly, I'm here to announce uh, my retirement from uh, first class cricket. Um, uh, look, it's been uh, an absolute honour and privilege to uh, to be a part of the SACA and, um, and and to wear the uh, the Redbacks cap. Um, you know, it's a it's something that um, in the backyard playing against brother and sister um, has, has been a dream of mine. And for the SACA and um, Northern Districts. Uh, to have given me the opportunity um, to to achieve what I have achieved in the game, um, I guess I'm indebted to them for life. Um, <laughs> don't like people seeing me like this. Uh, there's a number of people I'd like to thank. Uh, some in this room. Um, I'd like to start uh, start with uh, obviously uh, my club. Um, Initially Salisbury, and, and now to the to the might of uh, Northern Districts. Uh, it's been an absolute honour and um, pleasure to be a part of uh, what I believe is is one of the uh, the closest, most uh, loyal group of people. Um, it's uh, I, I think um, since the days of, of, of Wayne Bradbrook, who I guess. Uh, Really gave me a kickstart into uh, choosing the pathway in the cricket. Um, I, I think I've, I've felt like uh, the club's um, been part of my extended family, so um, I want to I want to thank them wholeheartedly for that. Um, uh, to to Buff, um, I'm not sure if he's here today, but um, spoken to him at length. Um, Many people would know that uh, I guess he, he moulded a lot of my beliefs and, and uh, created a bit of a mantra for the way that I enjoyed playing the game. Um, you know, he stuck with me when, when things weren't going so great early on in my career and um, became a, a bit of a father figure uh, for me and my cricket. Um, obviously there's been a number of coaches in my time. Um, uh, but Craig Chappell... Um, for one, certainly probably picked me before I was ready to play. So to him, I, I uh, would like to uh, pass on my thanks. And, and, and to Tim Nielsen, who um, probably stood down a little early um, and, and gave me that opportunity to play. Um, uh, you know, he showed me a lot of respect when I first started. And, and if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have coped as well. Um, when I first started playing at this level, so they're two guys that um, you know I think were really important into my kickstart into to first class cricket. But um, two guys that have had a, a fair bit of impact, I think, over the last couple of years um, that publicly uh, need to be thanked. Um, uh, sorry. Um, Russell Thompson and uh, Kima Harris. Oh, didn't think two old blokes would make like this, but uh, <laughs> um, I think they showed uh, real commitment and belief in me, not only as a cricketer, um, but as a person. Um, oh, so I thank I thank them for everything that they've done over the last five years. Um, Oh, I, I could stop there. 
Sorry, sorry guys, but uh, thank you heaps. Um, to Andrew McRitchie, uh, a, tr a true friend, uh, as, long, well, as well as an, uh, my manager for a number, a number of years, has always been there um, through thick and thin. Has um, probably worn most of the brunt of uh, of my uh, of my days playing cricket, I suppose. You know, he uh, has always lended an ear. He's been there for advice and. Um, I have no doubt that that friendship is going to continue um, through the course of time, so thanks mate. Um, uh, I guess the, the last few people I'd like to thank is uh, um, my best mate, Buzz, Stephen Buzzbridge. Um, I guess uh, I've lived a dream that, that he possibly could have as well, um, through injury and, and stuff like that. Didn't get the chance to do what, what I did, but uh, um, ne never once judged me. Um, was always there in support, and still is. Um, and uh, I, th I think um, I'm most looking forward to uh, hopefully producing some little grains to uh, to share some time with uh, little Archie, um, and uh, you know, continue our, our really strong friendship in the future. Um, to uh, oh, this is going to be really hard. Um, to my parents uh, and two of my best mates as well, my, my sister and brother uh, Kelly and Michael. Uh, everything I've done uh, and the person that I am today, uh, they are they are responsible for that. Uh, they kn <coughs> they know how I feel about them. And uh, a lot of this decision has been made around them. Um, I've lived a, a, a very selfish lifestyle for, for God, 12, 13 years now, and um, it's time to, time to repay the faith and the strength and love that they've shown me um, over, over that time. Um, look, I obviously want to thank all the guys that I've played with. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, but uh, look, there's, there's one really important person in, in my life that uh, a lot of this decision has been based around as well. Uh, uh, I guess it's um, made, made the decision a little bit easier, but uh, uh, getting married in, in May, and, um, uh, she, I, I guess she has dreams of her own and uh, London Olympics is something that we've both looked at uh, a, a couple of years ago and um, certainly made, um, made the pledge that that, that was going to be um, hopefully something that uh, she got to enjoy and cherish and uh, I think uh, by doing this now I think it's going to give her um, the best chance of being successful and, and for the both of us to enjoy uh, Enjoy that moment. So, um, to Tamsin, um, over the last uh, last five years, I think uh, you've made me um, a, a much better athlete uh, than than my first half of, of my career. And um, look, I just wanted to say how much I'm looking forward to uh, the next phase of our life together. And um, hopefully, uh, as as Jamie said, um, we're more than welcome back here. And um, when you're done. And, uh, we can actually enjoy a beer together and, and uh, watch this mob go about it on the hill. But uh, again, um, sorry for uh, st stumbling through all that and, and blabbering on for ages, but uh, it's, it's meant the world to me um, and really appreciate all for coming today.
chat with Jamie a few days ago. And, you know, there, there was times over the last 12 months that you know, I'd, I'd question myself um, and my desire to, to continue to, to fight and expect what I expect out of myself at this level. And um, you know, I guess I've tried to be as realistic as possible in my own head um, about where I'm at and where this organisation is at as a team and um, where I want to head in, in my future. As I said, with, with Tamsin and, and her dreams, and um, yeah, look, I, I think um, deep down it, it was certainly coming. And um, when I had a, a really good, honest chat with Jamie the other day, you know, I think it was it was probably time, and um, the, it certainly was my decision. Look, there was going to be no guarantees, that's for sure, uh, moving forward, as there shouldn't be um, with any player. But um, yeah, look, uh, I'm more than comfortable and more than happy to, to say that this is definitely the decision that I've made um, with my family and, and teams and, and some friends. You've got your list of achievements and highlights here. Can you rattle off a few that uh, stick out in your mind? Yeah, oh, um, look, obviously uh, <laughs> um, the day at Edgbaston was, um, oh, I guess, um, having Jamie there, he, he'd know just as well as, as myself, but that was a bizarre but um, absolutely wonderful day. Um, uh, and and that, that whole game was probably the, the most enjoyable game of cricket I've, I've ever been a part of. Um, I, I remember saying yesterday to someone that obviously the, the Big Bash success was um, was a bit of relief <laughs> in a sense. I thought I was destined uh, not to win a single thing. Um, that was that was certainly a, a highlight. Um, a highlight for me, obviously as well, was um, you know, a big part of my life, my club and. Um, you know, we, we formulated a, a new club and um, through a key or well, core group of people, you know, we, we set about um, trying to create a, the culture that we wanted, a, a successful winning culture. And in you know, 0405, we, we uh, managed, I think that was about eight years in, we, we managed to, to win the Premiership. And that, that was um, a really special time because, you know, I got to, to share that with uh, guys that. Um, I have so much respect for and, and love playing cricket, the game of cricket with in, in as I mentioned, my best mate Stephen Busbridge, Mark Cosgrove, Mark Higgs, Ryan Harris, Chris Bell, and, um, and then there were some really young, uh, good young kids playing in that game too. So um, that and the other highlight for me was Sean Tate's um, uh, a record-breaking season as well. Um, had the chance to captain him for eight games that season. And, to see someone display skill like that um, was, was just phenomenal and I was, uh, felt a real privilege to be a part of that. Um, and I guess the only other one I, I, I could think of would be my first um, first century and was lucky enough to share it out in the middle with, with Buff as well. So, yeah. Is that your favourite knot? Um, oddly enough, the uh, favourite knot's probably come this year. Um, I didn't think I could actually bat the way I did um, in Perth, uh, even though I probably fell, well, I fell through what I was trying to achieve uh, 10 over short. Um, that probably gave me the most satisfaction in, in the term, to, well, by the way that I showed some fight, and, um, uh, and, and I, I suppose I, I, I felt that I dragged the best out of um, my fellow teammates at the other end through that, that, that knock as well. And, you know, we ended up falling uh, two balls short um, of, of, of drawing the game, but I think that was yeah, that certainly sticks out to me. What legacy does Graham know leave? Uh, hopefully a good one. Um, uh, look, I think um, uh, my strength and weakness was um, through through my career that I, I was really passionate, um, uh, sort of wear my heart on my sleeve, and um, I, I think. Uh, I think I, I demanded the best out of myself and, and my teammates, and um, I think you know I can sit here pretty happy today that um, when push comes to show, I think I got the, the most out of uh, my ability. Are you going to continue to work with the club, or what's life after cricket got you? Uh, oh, look, I haven't um, haven't really thought too much about cricket, to be honest. Um, as I said, you know. Uh, um, I've lived a, a reasonably selfish lifestyle for, for a while now and um, 
So I've missed um, missed things that are irreplaceable. You know, I missed um, uh, my brother's uh, two kids' first birthdays um, through cricket, so I'll never get them back. Um, I've missed other family events, and um, I think it's it's a time for that now. Yeah. James, this is the first of many changes. Do you think to the, to the playing squad for next season? No, I wouldn't predict any at this stage. I mean, let's, let's deal with this today. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a day to celebrate now. I mean, Graham's had a wonderful career, as we said, so you know, let's focus on today. And we'll worry about that over the next few weeks. All right, thanks. Graham's got a game to go and play, so thank you for coming, everyone.